Hello and welcome back to Banner Kings and I'm pretty excited about this one because we're actually going to be doing something a bit sneaky. Yes, we're going to do something very, very sneaky indeed. And that means, you know what that means, we're going to attack the Jaroya again. If I get the opportunity to do so, obviously, <laughs> that's a big if, of course. However, hopefully we'll be able to. Anyway. I've just been selling my loot to uh, the actual town that we were just besieging, and I just noticed that they have a huge amount of beer. Yes, they have so much beer here, so I literally just purchased a thousand of it. Yeah, I purchased a huge amount. So that's what we're going to do. And then we are literally going to do a very, uh, very funny thing where I'm basically just going to stand here. I am just going to stand here like an absolute imbecile, and I am going to wait for a caravan from this, uh, from this village slash town slash castle, wherever. Um, I don't really want to attack villagers, if I'm, if I'm honest. I would like to attack caravans. Uh, yeah. Because the thing is, if I attack... Villagers, I have a bad feeling that things are going to go a little bit south for me. Ah, oh, there we go. There, there's. Is that a caravan? No, no. This. Oh, oh. Are you serious that they got away from me? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch up to that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, it looks as though this is the trade route, though. So I should probably just stick around in this kind of area here. And what we're going to do? Uh, oh wait. Oh, we're declaring war against. Oh dear. He's declaring war against Rajea. This is not a good idea, Garios. What are you doing? Oh, no, it's actually... Never mind. It's actually Lucon. Yeah, but this is also not a good idea. As you could quite clearly tell. This guy's, this guy's pretty good. Look at him. He's got 13,000. What's actually going on with Garios and his, and his thought process here? I'm going to abstain from the vote. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I guess I could have voted and gotten some charm skill, but... I'm not sure how much that's really going to give me, but maybe I should have done it. Oh, I don't know. We'll try it out next time. We'll try it out next time to see if we can get some, some charm skill experience for that. Um, because my charm skill is really, really... Well, it's pretty low um, due to the fact that we only have three skill points. If I had a couple more focus points in it, as you could see, my learning rate is basically almost capped out. That's the reason why I was saying it's pretty low. Learning rate, you know, being pretty low. Um, but yeah, that's obviously going to be a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a bottleneck for us. So that's not particularly good. Anyway, what we're going to do is, as I say, we're just going to wait here. And we're just going to hope that we can get in to... Uh, hello there. There's no way I can't... I, that, no, I cannot catch them. For some reason, these guys are insanely quick. I feel like I should... You know what I should just do? I feel like I should literally just... I can't attack the vassal either. That's the thing. I have to attack something that is a caravan or maybe even a trader. I don't know whether the traders will work. Uh, but it has to be a caravan from the Jaroya as well. There is a caravan. Are they actually... They're going to leave in a minute. Uh, no, I do not want to talk to you, sir. Can you please leave me alone? Thank you very much. Okay, so let's hope that he actually comes this way. He's going to exit in just a moment. So we have to be... Very aware of that. This guy is also coming, as you can see. So let's be a bit careful. We have two chances. Two chances. There we go. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> That's not the caravan. That is not the caravan we need. Okay, come on now. Come on. Are they are they actually are they actually gonna come out or no? Because it feels to me like they're not actually gonna come out now. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad news for me. This is absolutely huge bad news for me. Because I thought to myself, oh no, they're going to come out in just a moment. Ah, here we go, here we go. There they are. Okay, so let's move this way. Oh no, are you serious that they're actually going to get away? I'm going to have to disband the army. So that I can move up. Yeah, that's not fast enough, unfortunately. No, that is not fast enough. Okay, yeah, because the disorganized state, obviously, is going to come into effect as well. But there is another caravan actually in the town. So if I can actually wait here long enough and wait a minute, what's that? What is that? It's just villagers. Uh, oh, there's a caravan. Get him. Yes. There we go. All right. This is exactly what we wanted. We're going to just go auto-resolve, just attack them straight up. 
and we are basically done now and we're causing war against them once again obviously we are doing that i'm not going to take any prisoners here i don't see the point in it i will take the loot though thank you and um yeah so the reason why i'm doing this is so that i don't lose huge amounts of relation and honor and influence and all that stuff and yeah sure honor is not technically a thing in bannerlord like it was in warband but you are going to have the added um, shall we say the added penalty that it may give you a negative trait and I'd like to try and avoid that if I can you know because obviously that's that's a big problem in my opinion because if we want to do something in the future that actually requires co cooperation from some people then it's going to be a little bit harsh anyway as you can see right here we, we still have these fellows right by the side of us here so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to call for an army once again, of just just the I don't know, just a couple of people. I don't I don't need a huge amount to finish this up. I just want a couple of people just to help us out here. And the, unfortunately, the walls, as you can see, are once again up. I mean, obviously, we didn't even damage them um, enough beforehand, but yeah, we can only hope that they're not going to make peace super super fast because the 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 way that this works. And I don't know whether you've noticed this yourself, but I'm going to explain it just in case you didn't. Um, didn't get that in the, in the past, you know, when we, whenever we've experienced this kind of thing, is basically, oh, there you go, Nadea is now with child once again. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, basically what happens is if you, if you force a faction into declaring war um, with an attack on a caravan, they are going to inevitably make peace relatively fast, and it's not going to be conducive to any long-standing war of any kind they're just going to be making peace because that's the way it works um i'm not sure why it works that way but that seems to be how it is working for me so i'm just going to let my trebuchets just fire away here i'm kind of hoping that they're not going to be stupid about it uh am i gonna lose it yeah i actually lost it are you serious right now that is so terrible oh well Never mind. And there we go. Oh, oh, wait, wait. No, I am still leading. I am still leading. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. We've got my battering ram up and running as well. And all I want to do, okay, all I want to do is just get rid of these catapults. Just get rid of the catapults. Get rid of the ballista. For some reason, my trebuchet is actually targeting the walls. I don't know why it's targeting the walls when it should be attacking the enemy catapult. But it's being an imbecile right now. I have no idea why it's doing that. That is actually killing every single chance we have of actually doing this. I guess the wall has been destroyed, which is somewhat good. But we really need this one catapult to be destroyed. There we go. Okay. Whew. That is all we needed. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what was going on with that. Why, why is the AI of the, of the siege engine super, super weird here for some reason right now? I was certainly not expecting that. Okay, so we're going to basically put away the trebuchet because we don't want friendly fire. And we are otherwise just going to be going with the battering ram. Now bear in mind, the enemy does have a trebuchet available. And I'm not a big fan of that either. Because let's face it, a trebuchet is going to be... Well, a, a, sorry. A ballista. They have a ballista. Not a, not a trebuchet. Why, why did I say that? I don't know. Trebuchet on the brain. That's what's going on here. But yeah, anyway... They do have a ballista available, and that's going to be really, really harsh for us. Because that is going to do a lot of damage. Where is it, actually? Oh, it's up there. Okay. I'm I'm actually going to try... So I don't know whether I can actually do this, but I will try it. Okay. Um, some people said that if I go backwards on my horse, I can actually go this way. Oh, nice. 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 Come on now. Get him. Get him. Get them all dead, get them all dead, get them all dead. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, that is absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to literally get off my horse. And thank you, by the way, for that little little tip. I, I, I do realize about that, but sometimes I forget. So I really appreciate it because, let's face it, getting stuck going into one of those, um, one of these, one of these sieges. Absolutely worst feeling in the world. Okay, now let's see if I can actually do this. A duel. A duel, sir. Ah, it seems like they are actually now ganging up on me, which is not exactly great. 
Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a little bit of strategy here. Just try to avoid getting absolutely massacred by them. Uh, unfortunate that we are indeed now having some problems. There, he's dead. Nice hit. Oh, okay, that wasn't even a thrust, and we did massive damage. Funnily enough, this dagger is the probably one of the fastest weapons in the entire game, and as a result, we are never gonna get beaten in terms of speed. But obviously there is, there are going to be, you know, a number of other reasons why we would get beaten. For example, right now. Okay, kill that guy. There we go. You're, you're, you're seriously trying to shoot at me? How dare you? How dare you, sir? Okay, now. Come on, now. Get him. Get him. Okay, he's not dead. He's literally got one HP, this guy. <laughs> Alright, fantastic. There we go. There we go. Just spice things up a little bit with some additional directions. Because otherwise, if I continually go for thrusts, they are just going to block that every single time. And as you can see, they are indeed being quite active on that. Which is not exactly great. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, my. Wow, that was funny. Okay, never, never thought I'd be accurate enough to do that. But apparently we were. Very nice indeed. Okay, so unfortunate for me, however, that the allies are being somewhat useless. Not sure why, but we have killed the ballista operator, which is all that I really wanted to do here. There seems to be a guy coming up here. He probably wants to take over the ballista, potentially. This guy is a cavalier. He's got no weapons. I actually wonder, do they... Do they do the privateers and the cavaliers and all those guys, do they actually have weapons or do they only have the firebombs? Because it feels to me like they only have firebombs. Is that just me? Actually, not entirely sure. killed one of my own guys did i no 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 i just hit him once okay never mind never mind that's absolutely fine we don't have to worry about that too much um it, it's a bit strange actually because <laughs> i'm doing so i'm doing so much i am doing so much but apparently it's not enough wow uh yeah i'm gonna die here my, my horse is nowhere to be seen where where is it actually can i call for it oh yeah there, there is a way to call for it but i can't remember what it is is it no it's not that Oh dear. Is it H, actually? Nope. Apparently not. Well, my shield is really, really powerful right here, so maybe I'm going to be okay. Okay, here we go. Nice. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so, um, yeah, we've got some pretty, pretty cool... Um, action going on here. I actually really appreciate being able to do things like this where we can go behind enemy lines and actually, you know, contribute to the battle, uh, you know, in a big way. Because otherwise we're just going to die instantly whenever we go into these kinds of things. And I personally prefer the alternative. Uh, yeah, they're being a little bit too defensive there. Let's try and be a bit careful of this guy. He's going to try and shoot us point blank, but I'm not going to allow that. Thank you. I believe that is indeed it I think I think we are done um, but yeah obviously <laughs> this is the main reason why I actually wanted to continue 
the uh, the war against these guys because now they're going to be completely eliminated and obviously there are ways and means to get around these kinds of situations where the AI makes peace and so on and so forth and I would recommend this if you as well have issues with the AI doing things that you don't necessarily want them to do because yeah sure you're going to get a little bit of a negative relation with I think the owner of the caravan I think the owner of the caravan is going to get a negative negative relation with you but that's pretty much it as far as I know I don't think there are any other negative benefits uh sorry, sorry say negative benefits oh that's that's a yeah that no that doesn't work negative effects is what we should probably say here yes negative effects <laughs> okay so yeah the point is I don't think there's anything negative that actually happens when you attack the caravan with the exception of that so I think generally that could be considered a uh should we say a stopgap measure if you have a situation like myself where we were in a situation where we just basically had a faction dead to rights and they made peace you know our AI friends made peace and what, what are we gonna do about it well we can't do anything about it because we can't vote against them we have no power in that regard so what else are we gonna do well the only other thing we can do is you know sort of manipulate the field in this way and we seem to have done a pretty decent job anyway uh, there is actually one enemy remaining as far as I'm aware is there no, there's actually three on the ballista over there. Hopefully my forces are going to be... Yep, they killed them. And where, who's who's over here? There's one person. Where, where is he? Is he in the tower here or is he in the wall? I'm going to assume he's in the wall. So I'm going to actually move my forces. Uh... Okay, why are they being so annoying? Why is this? Why are the stairs being so annoying for me? Okay, there we go. Let's put them over there somewhere. There we go. Put them over there. That's fantastic. And I'm just going to use my firebomb against the wall here. Is he here? I don't see him. Can I phase in here with my speed thing? Nope. All right. Nope. Okay, he is not there. Okay, that is kind of... We wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, there he is. You see him? You see him? <laughs> wait, can I, can I zoom in? Zoom! I will zoom. I will zoom all the way in there. No, I will not, because apparently that doesn't work anymore. It used to, but not anymore. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, let's see. Nope, that's also not going to work. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to retreat, which is actually kind of annoying. Not sure why that still happens, actually, for me personally, but there's not much I can do about it. Anyway, we'll just send the troops. Let's hope that we actually do get... Yep, yeah, yeah, we still get all of the renown, so that's absolutely fantastic. I was a little bit worried that we would lose out on all of that, but thankfully, no. So, 88 renown, 80 influence, super, super nice. And let's actually see here. I actually don't want to take any of them prisoner. I'm going to just let them all go. That's what I'm going to do, because they are going to be making peace with us um, inevitably in just a moment once they are defeated, because let's face it, they're going to be you know, out of here. They're not going to be part of the game anymore. And um, there you go. They have been destroyed. And we are absolutely fine here. So let's just show mercy real fast. Uh, let's go to here. Okay, so basically what we're going to do now now that they have been eliminated, is we're just going to chill. We're just going to chill. We don't need to worry. We don't need to rush. We don't need to do anything specific. And uh, look at my relations. My relations are increasing all over the place. What? Wait a minute. Does Garios not like us anymore? No, no. He has a hundred relation with me. Okay, that's actually super weird. Because as you saw, um, he... Uh, his clan increased by 22 to 22. Uh, it's a bit a bit weird. I actually don't understand why that happened. I guess that's a bug of some kind because of this uh, this thing happening here because obviously a faction elimination is a pretty big deal. Anyway, what we're going to do is going to disband the army. We're no longer at war against these guys. And now we are just going to be facing the Northern Empire. Now, unfortunately for us, the Northern Empire has been somewhat busy in the time that we have also been busy. So you can see here that they have 
I think expanded over into the Northeastern territories here. The Kuzate are seemingly not really doing too much. I actually wonder whether they are at war against them as well. Because, I mean, let's face it, we are indeed in an, an alliance with these guys. So, as you can see here, um, all right, it doesn't actually even say what that is, but apparently we are in an alliance. Oh, there we go, there it is. An alliance between two realms institutes an expectation of mutual defensive military help. The proposed ruler needs to have at least one reason, uh, a result equal, uh, greater than zero even, to consider an alliance. Okay. For more information, see the alliance's concept in the encyclopedia. Okay, yeah, I'm probably going to be taking a look at that actually in just a moment because I need to see exactly what is happening with that. That's going to be a pretty important thing. So let's have a look here. Concepts. Alliances. An alliance between two realms. Yes. Okay. Uh, when one of the constituents is attacked by another realm, the other constituent is expected to come to their aid. So in other words, the Kuzate will be coming to assist us. And refusing this terminates the alliance. Alliances may begin either by mutual agreement or by marriage arrangements. Alliances are unmade upon the death or change of rulership of either constituent with the exception of alliances through marriage. Uh, for example, if the ruler of a kingdom dies, but their clan is still the ruling clan, and they have blood ties with their allied realm, the alliance will persevere. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, interesting. Okay, very, very nice. That means that basically if you if you marry someone with an alliance, or you, you form an alliance through marriage, that's a lot stronger than if you were to do it politically. By the looks of things. I mean, obviously, uh, a political arranged marriage is also still political. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, we're going to finally get plus two ammunition for our throwing weapons. So now we have 20 stacks of firebombs, which is obviously fantastic. Very, very nice indeed. And now we can actually start using our firebombs against the Northern Empire. I, I think they're going to be rather surprised. I think they're going to have a, a bit of a rude awakening here. Because this is something that they've not seen us use ever before. And I cannot wait to use it against them. And uh, now we just get to see who's going to get the town. I'm going to vote for some people. It's me? They are, they're actually giving it to me now. They're actually giving this to me. Okay, sure. I'm going to take it. Yes, I am excited. Okay, yeah. I am excited to actually do a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more town management. It's been a while since we've been able to do that because we've barely had a breather with the the war against the Jiroya, but now we do and uh, I, I'm a little bit worried about this actually because we are not really going to have a huge amount of raw materials hopefully we have enough wood because that's going to be the biggest thing to uh, get, sort of worry about here uh, but yeah let's actually just take a quick look here so um, wait a minute it's this and I want to claim it there we oh wait 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 no no which which one do I actually want to do I can claim this? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is the... Uh, you may claim this title. Okay, I may claim the title. It gives me uh, coins, renown. Uh -huh. Ah, this one seems better. There we go. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. We can have... Wait a minute. Isn't this the, the actual ruler? Isn't this the ruler of the Jaroya? As far as I'm aware, it is. Um, but funnily enough, if you take a look here, if I claim this title, I'm going to get more influence and more renown, right? No, I'm not. Okay, I'll claim this one. Claiming this title sets a legal pre precedence for you to legally own it, thus allowing it to be usurped. Okay. Going to claim it. There we go. I can claim both of these? I, I don't think I want to claim both, right? I think that's I think that's going to bug it out. So that's going to do something that's probably not going to be great. So we're just going to do this uh, sort of the old-fashioned way, I suppose. Okay, so otherwise, let's go in here. We've got... Wow, we've basically got nothing at all. Um, yeah, so wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's have a look-see here. We're going to just put in so much cash because we have so much money right now. And I, th this is what it must be like to be rich in real life. Literally, you can just throw money at whatever and it doesn't matter. That's crazy. I wouldn't know. 
So uh, let, let's actually, okay, wait a minute, hold your horses. What's going on here with, with all these things, with all these constructions? This is, this is not very good. All right, we're going to have to put festivals and games on. Uh, is the fairgrounds actually built? Yeah, we have one fairgrounds. That is not exactly great, is it? Okay, so edit your workforce policy under domain management. Mm-hmm. And a governor. Okay. Let's actually see who's good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. The Velvet Weaver is okay. I want to get more loyalty. That is the thing. Uh, there's loyalty there. Oh, this guy looks really good, actually. Daily loyalty... But that's it. Oh, it's it's very annoying, actually, when you don't have... Ah, th this guy. This guy is absolutely fantastic. Look at him. He gives plus one loyalty per day. And he also does give uh, daily security and a bunch of other things. So, yeah, this guy. It's so funny how I'm appointing every single gang leader every single time I do this I don't know I'm not sure what's going on with that but yeah apparently I am doing it that way and otherwise this is the stash so wait a second what's actually even in here why is there why is there random stuff in here what's the AI doing look, look at this stuff they're just keeping in some random things in there that's kind of funny all right so where's the wood I don't have any wood ah that might be the issue for my morale problems. I thought I had wood. Do I not have wood? Apparently I don't. That is real bad, actually. Huh. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do absolutely nothing. Because what I need to do right now is I need to make sure that this is um, stabilized first. We're going to go to the, the domain management just now. And we're just going to change the workforce here. Okay, so criminal policy is enslavement. Tax policy, we're going to put that on low. Uh, we could make a tournament if we wanted to. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Okay, let's have a look. Exempt merchants from tariffs, reducing prices and attracting caravans. I'm going to do that. Let's actually just have a look. Yeah, no, that, that literally only gives me an, an additional thousand. I don't really care about that. Extend exemptions to artisans and guilds, improving their output efficiency while decreasing state revenue. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, no, I'm good with that. And we can, uh, tax slaves. Technically taxing slaves would be a much better idea, but as you can see, if we taxed private, uh, private slaves, we would get, um, a lot of revenue. Huh. Maybe we should do that. I don't know. I mean, we're not getting that technically, but the merchants are. Daily revenue of local merchants based on slave workforce and production efficiency. So they would technically be getting 7,000 in that case, as you could see. So maybe it would actually be a good idea. Anyway, workforce policy is going to be construction. Uh, I think. Yeah, I'm going to put that on construction. I think that sounds pretty decent to me. And we are otherwise just going to be doing garrison policy. I don't actually really mind about that we could do i think dischargement is absolutely fine and we are going to be doing demobilization because generally all i want to do is i want to encourage the economy as much as i can while also increasing the happiness of the population that's generally what i try to do whenever i play a game like this you know i, I just generally want the happiness to be as high as possible because I absolutely loathe, and this maybe is a sort of like pet peeve of mine, but I loathe having to deal with low happiness. I think that's really annoying. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that says something, I don't know. But yeah, if we had to deal with that, it would be extremely irritating because uh, as soon as it gets to around 20 or so loyalty, you're going to start having some, some risk of rebellion. And I personally would like to try and avoid that at all costs. Ah, look at that. Look at what just happened right here. Look at this. Barney has finished learning the Calradian language. And that is exactly what we've been wanting to do this entire time. I don't even know how long it has been. 
Why can't I? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I not have the book? Where? Where? Where's the book? I didn't sell it by mistake. A hundred percent, I did not sell it by mistake. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There, there is no way I have sold this by mistake. Also, my morale is actually uh, taking a huge nosedive right now. Not entirely sure why that is, but yeah, apparently it is. Anyway, um, yeah, wait a minute. Where is, where is the book? Because and now, here's the thing, yeah? Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. The reason why that's absolutely impossible is because I locked it. First of all, I locked it in my inventory. And then second of all, I never ever automatically sell goods. I don't know whether you've noticed that, but I never auto sell goods because there is no uh, there is no reason for me to do that. I usually like to pick out the goods that I want to sell individually, and so it is absolutely impossible that I would have sold it. So I'm going to assume something happened. Bug, maybe. I don't actually know. But I uh, I apparently have lost the book, which is actually hilarious. Considering uh, I know someone actually mentioned that, you know, it was very likely that I was going to lose it. And uh, well, there you go. Uh, I'm, I'm not entirely... I, I don't understand why that has happened. But um, let's actually see if there's any, anyone nearby. Because if I can buy something that is Calradian, then I should be able to literally just read it straight away. Um, but it's, it, I mean, it is, I, I mean, no offense right now. I, it wasn't actually that, that good of a book. I think it would have given me, uh, what is it? One focus point in writing skill or something like that. I, I, I think so. I'm actually not entirely sure. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to free these people now because, yeah, they can just run around and do whatever they want to do. Uh, I'm going to have to actually do something here, however, because they're going to be annoying. Let's help the caravan. There we go. Let these guys go. Just increase their overall relation with us. I always find that quite funny as well. I defeated you in battle. Now you may go. Oh, really? Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, you're a good, you're a good pal, sir, friend. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I find that quite amusing. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm hopeful that what we can do is we can actually find some wood here. Uh, there's a little bit of wood. And yeah, we can get some tools as well, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, we are now in a situation where I have to find a book. So I guess I'm going to have to look around for that. And we're going to see. I think there is actually a book merchant in Kasira. And I do know the Nahawasi language. So that shouldn't be super bad for us. It should be a little bit easier than anything else. So anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.